The Messenger is the program that deals with substance abuse, real people telling real stories. Every Sunday morning at 8 a.m. on WMYD Detroit TV 20. An alarming truth that must come to the surface is that everyone who finds themselves at one point struggling with cocaine use finds themselves at a place called rock bottom. Uh, rock bottom is, is when you've at that point where there's no more money. You're at that point where family, friends, no longer want to even have relationship with you. Uh, rock bottom is when you no longer even want to bathe or do the things that normally you do uh, just to maintain your, your, your hygiene. Rock bottom can literally be a place not only where you find yourself, but it can also be a place where God finds you. And so let's share some of these testimonies of those who have hit rock, who hit rock bottom and their stories of how they got there and what happened as a result of being there. Uh, the worst day by far was when I assaulted my wife in front of my son um, and ended up doing a year in jail because of it. Um, of that experience um, was when I was, um, I had learned how to prostitute, being a male on the streets, getting in and out of random different cars with different guys. Um, went to prison, went to a center at the um, halfway house um, after serving six and a half years, and um, didn't make it back to the center around time. Yeah. Thought I can go get one and go back. You know, I thought I'd been this long without it. I can go get one, and I can still go back to the center on time. I got a couple of hours I can get high. I can't, I got to face my family, you know. They was rooting for me. They was happy. Everybody was there when I came home that day to get out. Um, wow, I felt like I just let the world down. That was one of the most depressing things. What was the most worst day of my use and every day that I woke up? other than the times that I might have almost been killed. You know, people putting guns up to my chest, pulling the triggers and nothing coming out, or me running off with people monies, or, you know, it's a lot of worse ones, but, you know, they always worse, but I just can't see a real, the worst, because every, every day using was the worst day for me, man. Um, when I lost my family, um, I lost my job, um, I created enemies out there even using drugs. Um, I began to self-destruct myself, such as um, not washing up, not brushing my teeth, um, losing weight, um, not eating properly, um, being defiant to others, disrespectful, um, stealing, um, manipulation, different things of that nature. I've tried suicide because there were times that I didn't want to get high but didn't know how to stop. I could just remember walking up a street and just wanting to just run out in front of a bus. Now that's scary. You know, and um, couldn't tell nobody about it. The fear of being judged because I had been judged all my life, you know. And um, that was scary, you know, because I actually I'm standing at the bus stop waiting on a bus to come up any street. And I just wanted to jump out in front of it. I think part of the thing that kept me from doing it was my children. I didn't want them to go without their mother because although mine was there, she still wasn't there. You so, know, I didn't want that for my kids. My most scariest experience using a drug would have to be off crack cocaine being in a spot that got raided. So for me, that was a little terrifying. The police came, batter ran the door down, you know, guns drawn people scattering, I don't know if I'm going to jail, I don't know, you know, I'm, if I'm getting arrested for crack cocaine because I didn't have any drug record, you know what I'm saying, I've never, I still to this day don't have a record. Ask the messengers.